Hello friends, welcome to Mid-Morning Manna, coming to you from the auditorium at North Harrison Baptist Church. Lonnie Mattingly here. I am delighted that you are tuned in today, and I hope you'll stay tuned for this 10 minute or less, or maybe a minute or two over uh, broadcast. Just a, a word to help lift your spirits, to encourage you, to motivate you to accomplish something, not only for your personal life, for your family, for your employer or whatever, but for the Lord Jesus Christ. Your life can count for Christ. And one of the things that will help us in our lives counting for Christ will be when we understand that the same Lord who came and died for the sins of the world and then rose again and then ascended into heaven, that same Lord is going to return. And we've heard about that for many, many years and he hasn't come yet. And I believe it's because there's one more that needs to be saved and one more that needs to be saved and one more. And the Lord, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. This whole world of people, God is pleased if we can get the gospel to them. And I believe as long as there's hope, he'll delay the coming of his, of his son just a little bit longer. But one of these days, and not when we expect it, but maybe when we least expect it, he's going to burst through that eastern sky. And what a day that's going to be. Those of us who are saved will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Bible says, and by the way, I've given us a memory verse for this week. I think it's a good one. Matthew 24, 44. Matthew 24, 44, it says this, Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. The Son of Man is talking specifically about the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming again. The Bible says, you know what? It's going to come when you're not even thinking about it. It's going to come when, when, when you least expect it. It's going to be a surprise to you. And you know what? Even Christians can go days, weeks, months, maybe even years at a time and never really stop to think about the coming of the Lord. And as our own country, America, becomes more and more pagan, how much more we need the Lord to return. But how much more, in light of his return, do we need to turn up the burners in going after the lost, reaching the lost, learning how to present the plan of salvation, giving out gospel tracts, getting people to church, doing what we can, running those buses and those van routes and, and reaching people for the Lord Jesus Christ. And the truth of the matter is, most of us, and I included me, most of us ought to be ashamed of ourselves because we know we really haven't done all that we could. We haven't been as effective as we know we should. We're just, uh, we're just sort of coasting along. We're, uh, we, ha we have that blessed assurance, Jesus is mine, and we're, we're resting on our blessed assurance instead of getting out there, reaching the lost. Well, on Monday, we just talked about some introductory things and how that we do believe Jesus is coming again. And on this Tuesday morning, I want you to notice, first of all, that we, the saints believe it. That's what we talked about on yesterday. But today, I want you to think with me on the fact that the scripture proclaims it. The, spirit, the, the word of God proclaims that the scripture proclaims that he will return. I'm just going to give you a, a passage of scripture here from 1 Thessalonians. Let me turn there. 1 Thessalonians chapter number 4 and verses 16 through 18. The Bible says this, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Boy, what a wonderful thing that's going to be. He said, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. In this uncomfortable world, we can find comfort in the word, and we can share these words with others and encourage people to come to Christ, encourage our friends, our loved ones, our neighbors, our family members to be saved, and give them the information they need to be saved. Give them gospel tracts. Get them to church to hear the preaching of the word of God. Share with them your personal testimony and say, you know what? I'm looking for, I'm not looking for the undertaker. I'm looking for the upper taker. I, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to be gone in the twinkling of an eye, the old song says. And uh, how impressive and how wonderful that is. And we who are saved have that blessed hope 
and we're looking for that glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I want to tell you on the authority of the Word of God, not my authority, not scientific authority, not geological authority, not astronomical authority, or any other authority except the authority of the Word of God. The Bible says He's coming, and I believe that he is. And I hope you'll believe that too. We're going to have another song as we go off. Just an exciting, peppy song that I believe will bless your heart. And I uh, hope you'll listen to the song before you turn us off. But let God speak to your heart. Tune in tomorrow. I want to give you the next point, man. It is, it's getting better every day. And I hope you'll tune in tomorrow as well. And don't forget, even if you happen to miss one, you can go to the, one of those websites, scroll down, you can find it, and uh, you can get the next day. Let's do it. Let's do it for Jesus' sake. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you that Jesus promised us that he would, he, he said he would never leave us or forsake us, but when he left to go to heaven, even though he's here in the person of the Holy Spirit, even though he's watching over us and helping us and strengthening us, it's going to be a wonderful day when we see him face to face. Lord, he's, he, I know he's coming back. And uh, Father, I thank you for the wonderful plan that you have in all of this. And I thank you for the second coming of Christ. Looking forward to it, believing you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. For so long I traveled down a sinful road. My troubles were so many, such a heavy load. Then I turned to Jesus, a better way he showed. Life is so much better on the victory road. I'll keep on walking on the victory road. Going down, down my heavy load. And I won't turn back. And I won't turn back and sin no more. And sin no more. I'll keep on walking on the king's highway. I know I'll, I'll reach that better day. Someday I'll reach that better day. Reach road on the victory road. The, victory road. Though this road is narrow, I must look ahead. And by the hand of Jesus, down this path of lead. When I'm tired and weary, he helps me bear my load. I am also happy on the victory road. I'll keep on walking the victory road. Can't lay down my heavy load. And I won't turn back. And I won't turn back and sin no more. And sin no more. I'll keep on walking the highway. I know I'll reach that better day. Someday I'll reach that better day. I'll on the victory road. I'll keep on walking the highway. I know I'll reach that better day. Someday I'll reach my home on the victory road.